good evening everyone so today we should go ahead and we will discuss how to go about the subject microeconomics for your iit jam and gate preparation i will only focus on microeconomics today and i will tell you how to go ahead and how to study microeconomics thoroughly for your iit jam and gate preparation see when we talk about microeconomics microeconomics can be broadly divided into consumer theory then producer theory right then market forms general equilibrium right and at last public economics these are the five five main important parts in which i can go ahead and i can define the entire microeconomics when we talk about consumer theory iske andar bahut kuch aa jata hai you need to study budget line you need to study food stamp program you need to go ahead and study what are preferences different forms of utility functions in different forms of utility function the kinged utility functions then you need to go ahead and you need to study um, you know what is your slutsky equation right uncertainty right and then you need to study revealed preference so all this is your microeconomics consumer theory okay this is one of the most important part of your microeconomics and which book should you be referring for this so you should be going ahead and you should be doing snyder and nicholson it is an excellent book to understand microeconomics from the point of view of exam dekho from the point of view of semester exams varian is a good book hmm but from the point of view of entrance exam jaise varian may doesn't talk about roy's identity in varian it does not talk in much detail about what happens to indirect utility functions what are direct utility functions it doesn't talk about expenditure function but it talks about all these things in snyder and nicholson so from the point of view of entrance exam for microeconomics especially consumer theory snyder and nicholson is a very good and an excellent book to follow along with try to do as many as possible its back questions also right then once you are done with consumer theory jaise abhi jo bhi bacche mere sath pad rahe hain all students who are with me you know that we are going to have a full syllabus consumer theory test on the weekend so once you are done with your consumer theory what is your next step you should be practicing numericals based on this as many numericals as possible jitne bhi possible numerical ho pa you should be doing it so for example if i give you a numerical on kurno aggregation or if i give you a numerical on angel aggregation right or if i give you a numerical on finding compensating and equivalent variation right you should be able to go ahead and be able to solve any kind of numerical so you go ahead and you study this consumer theory thoroughly and the moment you finish consumer theory you need to complement it with the right amount of numericals that's the next thing that all of you will be going ahead and all of you will be doing numericals micro is all about practice right the more numericals you do the more efficient you will go ahead and you will become now the second aspect of microeconomics is your producer theory producer theory can be divided in multiple parts yet again and when we talk about producer theory we can go ahead and we can talk about it in terms of production function 
cost function and profit functions. These are the major three things that you must do from producer theory. Now, in this producer theory, again, you need to look at different kind of important things like what is elasticity of substitution? What is homothetic production functions? How are they different from homogeneous production functions? And again, a good book that you can follow for this part will be Snyder and Nicholson. Snyder and Nicholson has done a very good job in explaining this part. But whenever you study any topic, make sure better that you do all possible past years also from it. Like you would have seen us doing it, right? So whenever we have studied any topic, I have always tried to make sure that whichever DPPs we do, I do, I give you all corresponding past year questions. I have tried to make sure that whenever we take any surprise test, we take all latest past year questions so that it gives you confidence that if you can solve this year's paper on the topic that you have studied, it means you are on the right path. Then we will talk about market forms. In market forms, what you need to go ahead and do? You need to do perfect competition, monopoly, monopolistic, monopsony, right? And oligopoly and game theory. Now here, what I want you to do is, yes, it is important to study through a book definitely, but there are some concepts which are in no book. So I will be covering those concepts with you myself. So for example, there can be a question on multi-plant theory, multi-plant, pay question asakta hai, right? So when there is a question on multi-plant uh, or multi-product, then we need to go ahead and we need to handle these kind of questions. So that is one thing that I will be doing on my own. Then there is just one type of question which can be asked from an opsony. So I will be going ahead and giving you that question. Again, there is, it's not very nicely done in Varian and Snyder. So we will do this uh, for students who are studying on their own, who are doing self-study, what I will suggest you to go ahead and do is that you can go ahead and you can cover the topic of monopsony from a different book, which is known as AMG. Right? Try to cover it from AMG. It is explained or Serrano. It is explained better under these books. Right? Then you need to do oligopoly. In oligopoly, we are going to do Kurno, Bertrand and Stackelberg. Now, when we focus on oligopoly, it is very important to understand that you do all possible cases. Many cases are in none of the books better. So, you need to make sure that you do all cases. For example, when you do Bertrand model, then you need to go ahead and you need to do the case number one. When both firms have same marginal cost. Case number two. When firms have different marginal cost. Right. Similarly, when you are doing Kurno, you need to take all cases. Right. Here, case number three. When firms have some fixed cost also. I see Kurno, you need to take multiple cases. So, whenever you do oligopony model, just don't do the basic case. Right. But do all possible cases also that can be asked in your IIT exam. Game theory mein, I would like to suggest that Snyder and Nicholson is a good book. Ye theek rahega game theory mein follow karne ke liye. But if at all you want to do game theory in detail, right? Although it's not required, but the maximum that they can ask you in game theory is one shot game and repeated game. In do mein se shayad kuch a jai. Because every year they are experimenting with uh, the game theory part. So sometimes they will give you three player game, but sequential game. Sometimes they give you two player game, but choosing among three strategies. Right. So this kind of things, they are, they are going ahead and they are giving you tricky question. So game theory may, if you want, you can follow separate book for game theory 
right um but only if time permits mane take it at the end pehle game theory sirf snyder and nicholson se kar lo and only if you have enough time then you can go ahead and you can follow uh, one of the books right and the book that you can follow will be osborne only if time permits i don't want you to go ahead into detail only if you have time then do osborne varna snyder and nicholson is fine then we talk about general equilibrium now in general equilibrium varian has done a good job so you can follow varian but whether you follow any book no book is going to do all possible examples so it is up to you to practice practice all possible examples all possible examples mane in an edgeworth box try to take different utility function what if individual one is x y an individual two is lexicographic preference what if individual one is x y an individual two is min preference what if individual one is substitute good and individual two is max preference so try to take all possible permutation and combination and go around finding out the pareto efficiency conditions and the market equilibrium take all possible situations right then in general equilibrium no student ever does that but i always tell my student to do two more things even i don't do them in live classes but i will give you uh, video lectures for it one is the production side of general equilibrium jo karna zaruri hota hai right and one is welfare uh, or utility social utility functions hai na it has never ever been asked in exam but you should know what is a ravelsian utility function for example what is a utilitarian function for example right uh, so you should be aware about different kind of social welfare functions also so this is something which i will be just asking you to do it and i will be giving you lectures for it it has never ever been asked in exam but there is no point taking risk then the last part is public economics which can be divided in three parts externalities public goods and your asymmetric information and moral hazard again uh, these two have been asked in exam asymmetric information or moral hazard has not been asked in exam but we will not go ahead and take any risk and you will go ahead and you will do lectures on all these three of these topics tino hi topics ko you will go ahead and cover from the point of view of exam so this is how you can go ahead and you can uh, study iit jam or gate ke liye microeconomics acha so book for a uh, public economics these three part is again snyder and nicholson followed by all past year questions of your iit and gate papers right try to see how iit is increasing its level and try to do those questions as well book for monopolistic uh, i have just skipped monopolistic here you um you don't really need any book if you can just google this topic and do that's also fine and um, if required you can also do it from manq right so monopolistic is not very difficult topic you just have to understand some basic things of monopolistic competition that how it incorporates the features of perfect competition and monopoly usse zyada usme se kuch hai nahi karne ke liye right excuse me so that is it from the point of view of exam last time not last time i think one or two years back in gate there was a question that was asked on advertisement and monopoly right so they asked us uh, to find out the equilibrium advertisement uh, to total revenue ratio i think so since then i have started including advertisement as part of my lecture videos and advertising is although not in any book like snyder or nicholson and varian but try to focus on such new topics also so try to study the the functions where we talk about advertisement also right so for example if i just create a production function which is a function of output and advertisement try to solve such questions also and how would i know that 
ये क्वेश्चन कैसे बन रहे अगेन बेस्ड ऑन द पास्ट ईयर पैटर्न सो ट्राई टू इवेल्यूएट द पास्ट ईयर पैटर्न एंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट न्यू थिंग्स दे आर आस्किंग फ्रॉम माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स एंड यू नो अकॉर्डिंगली स्टडी फॉर योर माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स कोर्स राइट सो आई विश यू ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट फॉर योर अपकमिंग आई डी एग्जाम and uh, this is it that i wanted to discuss from the point of view of micro i will take similar sessions for other subjects in the future thank you beta